Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another history video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Hidatsugu Breach combo deck, which has been gaining some popularity and standard, but even in historic, it is actually very very manageable and combo itself is pretty powerful enough to actually make a splash even in historic I believe. So as you can see, this is the deck we're working with. The Japanese card that you see there is actually called Mizix's Mastery. That is the card that we're playing. It is a card that can flash back any of the sorcery or instant speed cards from the graveyard for you to cast it for free. So in our case, we're going to be casting Breach the Multiverse if it happens to go to the graveyard. It is totally unnecessary even if you don't have Mizix's Mastery in the deck, but it does bring up the consistency in casting the Breach. Since Breach itself also mills a bunch of cards, Crucius can also discard Breach as well. And if, if opponent thought seizes you, Breach is probably the card that they want to get rid of. So Mizzix's Mastery adds to that redundancy. So you're probably questioning what exactly does a Breach do? So Breach the Multiverse is a 7 mana card. It's pretty expensive, but there are a lot of times you can potentially just hard cast this because of Crucius treasure ramping. But most of the times we're not actually going to be hard casting this card. So what this card does is each player mills 10 cards. For each player, choose a creature or planeswalker card in that player's graveyard and then put those cards onto the battlefield under your control. The creature and planeswalker doesn't actually have to come from the cards that you just milled. Even if there's planeswalker or a creature lying on the graveyard, that can be your potential target. So most of the times you're going to mill Hidetsugu and you're going to bring it back onto the battlefield. As for your opponent's graveyard, you can just pick whatever you want and it'll come under your control. But again, it's still a 7 mana card, so although it does powerful things, you do somehow need to cheat it out in Historic. So how do we do that? We got two copies of Mix's Mastery, which can flashback Breach of Multiverse from the graveyard as we've talked about. And the other way is by using a new card called Hidetsugu and Kairi. This is a 5 mana Demir card with 5-4 flying. When this enters the battlefield, draw 3 cards, then put 2 cards from your hand onto the top of your deck in any order. And when this card dies, exile the top card, and then target opponent loses life equal to its mana value, and if it's an instant or sorcery card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. So, you see that you have Breach the Multiverse, Hidetsugu, in your hand, then you cast Hidetsugu, Breach goes on top of your deck, and when Hidetsugu dies, you get to cast a Breach the Multiverse for free, getting a Hidetsugu back again onto the battlefield, and getting another creature or planeswalker from your opponent's graveyard. And on top of that, you're also going to be dealing 7 damage because Breach the Multiverse does cost 7. So basically, that's our game plan. Just getting tons of value with Hidetsugu and Kairi while controlling your opponent's board with things like counter spell, disruption spells, and a board wipe. But let's say if the opponent doesn't kill your Hidetsugu, there are ways of getting rid of our own Hidetsugu here. You can either use your removal spell, such as Round of the Lock, to kill it, but there's also ways of sacrificing Hidetsugu using things like Make This Appear and two copies of Braxian Tower, which comes in as a land. So with that out of the way, we'll jump into some games to see how the deck performs. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and let's hop on over. Decent hand, decent hand. Hmm. So it's like that, huh? I'm really glad they just uh, Shark Typhoon cycle there. Okay, well, I guess I'll get Field of Ruin here. Ooh. 
Really? Another Field of Ruin? And I drew all three of my basics. Like, what are the chances of this happening? Oh my god, I'm... This is not fair. Usually I'm fairly well protected from Field of Ruin, but literally I drew all three of my all two of my basics. Feels bad, man. Well, luckily I have two expressive iterations. At least I got that going for me. I need more blue sources. Any like Crucius something 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 You know come to think of it Norset's pretty bad for us, huh? Because he that Ziggu draws three cards and then put two back into the deck. So if Narsa's ever out, we're we're screwed. <laughs> Ooh, Crucius. Um Guess we'll show Aldred's edict the Narsa away. Man, that Field of Ruin hurt me. Physically and mentally. Another Narset? Oh my god. I have just the trick for Help. I need an adult. I need an adult. Okay, like... I can't even play Crucian sex turn. I mean, I have to, but like... Because they feel to ruin me... I can't keep two counter spells up. Oh my god. Feels bad. Well... Let's just keep jamming in so they can use their counter spells so we can play my uh, Breach. That's going to be our game plan here. But obviously, um... We would have a Crucius here if we... Didn't get double field ruined. But... I think this is a winning line. We, uh, get rid of all those counter spells and then we get a land. Untap land next turn and then play Breach. I'll take an untapped land. No. That was... That was the turn. When they didn't have anything. 
we need it to get an untapped land there so we can breach this turn safely. Now they can potentially draw into counter spell, which No man, these these lands These basics I drew literally ruined me. Man. Drown in the lock? Actually not the worst. Because if they do have a counter spell. Okay, here we go. So they counter this, probably. And then we can Mizix's Mastery into Drown in the Lock next turn. So that's the that's the game plan here. Okay, they had an Archmage Charm. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Breach. We can also pay for their Jawari's Disruption. That's gonna get countered. Hopefully opponent doesn't have another one. Oh... Here we go. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get... Actually... Crucius is probably better there. You think about it. Okay, double... He does to go to the bottom is not... Good. <laughs> okay. Still not the worst. Ooh. Wait, what? Okay, so we have a problem. How do we get rid of Narset? Okay, let's find a way to get rid of Narset. Brotherhood's End, huh? Okay. Keep an open mind. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Next turn. I shall miss your company. We got 21 cars remaining. Opponent has 26. <laughs> what is this game? What exactly am I seeing right now? Ward 3. It's actually a really good card that they got. Blue, blue, black, black. Take a breach on top. Land on top. And we'll pass.
<laughs> this is a close game. Okay, well. What if they have a counter spell, though? Let's see. Do you have a counter spell? Double Fatal Push? Mm. Okay. Okay, luck sack. Okay, hard cast time. Why is it tapping everything? Can we tap everything but the Fraxian Tower, please? Oh my god. Please, game. I would like to keep my Fraxian Tower. Sure. So we put the Hidetsugu in an R set. Then we can put... So I gotta be careful here. So I don't mill. And then draw into losing. So we just put the lands on top. We only have three cards remaining right now. Opponent has... Well, they're gonna have exactly ten. So let's see. One. Two. One, two, three. What is this game? <laughs>
Okay, I won. <laughs> oh man. What is this game? They have nine cards. GG's. My God. What a game. Consider yourself milled. Okay, let's take out some Mystic's Mastery because opponent's playing a bunch of, um, grab your hate. Uh, go blank. In. Children in. Change the equation actually kind of sucks against them, actually. Not the greatest. Probably go down on a breach. Brotherhood's end. Yeah, um, yeah. Brotherhood's end. Go away. Let's take a Molten Empire, actually. Well... Uh... Maybe go for the Throat? For like, Shaldred, maybe? If they play one? Oh no... It's so good! If we get a land, but... I don't believe in myself. It's like how we didn't draw land. Nice. Very nice. We pass. I'll take a damage here. Sacrifice a creature token. Got a land. These Field of Ruins are kind of annoying. It'd be really nice, actually, to counter me here. Because I got double expressive iterations. Oh, if I had a land. Another Hidatsugu? <laughs> um, I'll take another Hidatsugu. Okay, combo is online. 
No! Frick you! So lucky. Opponent is so freaking lucky. Let me tell ya. Ah. Uh. Narset actually just ruins me. I have just the trick for this. Feels bad, man. They were stuck on lands too. Feels bad. Feels bad. Just gonna get countered. Oh god. Narset, huh? So basically... Never make Narsa resolve. That's how we win. And have some molten impacts, I guess, to kill Narset. Okay. Let's win. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. So basically, we gotta land this Crucius with Mystical Dispute and win the game. That seems pretty easy, right? That seems pretty easy. Well, reasonable. There you go, Hidatsugu, no problem. Hmm. Short. They had the Archmage farm. Um, guess I'll express a duration first. We'll counter the bind. They want to counter again, sure. Well, they really didn't want me to cast Expressive Iteration. And I think opponent achieved that. You know what my opponent probably has? Bunch of fatal pushes, maybe. Bunch of fatal pushes and all counter spells. Watch. This one's gonna get countered immediately. There you go. <laughs> Is my opponent just going to die to Crucius? Should I just jam this in? To see? I mean, like... Oh my god.
they're actually just going to die to Crucius. Uh, expressive iteration. Oh my god. Please. Okay. Well, I guess I'm breaching? Actually, no. Let's, um, cling to dust. Oh my god. Oh my god, what was that game? Hello? What? <laughs> okay, look. Look at these counter spells. That's insane. Uh, my bad. Something happened to my recording. But, here we are. Is this Belcher? Wait, is this actually Belcher? Oh, it's not. It's not, it's not. Well. Wait. That actually landed? What did they have? Oh, I think I know what they have. It's a drown in the lock. Uh, Hidetsugu? Yep, that is 100% Drown in Luck. Why are there so many Demir controls? I'm confused. No! Are you, are you kidding me? What is this? I can't- you cannot be serious. I'm playing against a rogue deck. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why do you play Extinction Event in your rogue deck? Okay. Please do not mill me. Please. How do we get matched against a mill deck? Like... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, well. Let's attack first. And I will... Brotherhood's end, my only, uh... Creature. Nope. No milling for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get to see more of their deck. Uh, yep, it is just literally... I'll take a Tasha. Uh, I'll 
take a hit at Zugu. Seems pretty good. Zara the Sand. Okay. Now I know my opponent's deck. This is so bad for me. They're playing Invasion, Thieves Guild Enforcer, a Soaring Thought Thief. So my Hidatsugu is going to be useless. Well, Mythic's Mastery is actually looking a lot better. Play a Shaldrit. Take a go for the throat. Mystical Dispute. Uh... Take Change the Equation. Get rid of Brotherhood's End. Interesting. Cut a Breach and a Hidatsugu. Even though it won me the game there. Well, I don't know actually. Uh, I'm kind of feeling it right now. But I do need to cut something. I guess that's what I should do. Hmm. Take out a Shaldred's Edict. Hmm. We'll, we'll play something like this. Oh god. It's not the worst. We pass. That is a no. Oh, Mystical Dispute is actually so insane there. What? Uh... Greater. Okay, Breach is not what we wanted to see there. Nope. No to the Tasha. Got him. Got him. Why is this working? Oh my god. <laughs>